Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 uh, 365 Day LP. We are doing episode 12, I believe now. So it's pretty crazy. And we just had baby Logan, and I want to go ahead and, at the beginning of this, start with editing where everyone's going to actually be sleeping. So, Corey is actually going to stay where he is. I'm actually going to probably move Logan and Chadwick. Or, not Logan. Um, Emilio and Chadwick. Um, the reason I say this is because I want to put the double bed here. So, I'm going to take Emilio, right? And I'm actually going to have him come step right on over here for me. And I'm going to have Chadwick come step right on over here for me. So, could you two please do those things? Please and thank you. I would appreciate it. I want to tell them to run so that they move a little bit faster. Okay. Go ahead and go. Perfect. Okay. I just need them pretty much out of this room. So we're going to go into buy mode real quick. And I'm going to swap some things around. Now I'm going to make it daytime because it's going to be easier to see. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. This is Emilio's bed, right? And this is Chadwick's. Um, and then I'm going to move this like this, and then um, we're going to take this bed out of here. This is the baby crib, and I want to actually get it as close in here as I can, because I want them to have space for their bed. Um, I really hope this is going to work. I don't actually think they're going to be able to get around it, but we're going to try. Um, okay, so... I want to take and get a bed and I'm probably just gonna go with what beds are these these are the lullaby beds um, there's probably a double bed of that but we're just gonna go with this bed the sweet dreams bed it's actually pretty good I don't know if they'll be able to get in between this but I'm gonna try my hardest guys I really am so I'm gonna go ahead and color this the same as the room like the room's furniture. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. All right, there we go. That's perfect. And let's see, if I put it on the crib as well, will that look silly? It kind of looks silly. There's some silly things happening. Um, let's put this here, because that's like the top. And then we're gonna put this on this. There we go. And then that's fine. That looks better. Oh, okay. Okay, so that works for that. And then I am going to take this bed and I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to put Emilio in here. And I'm going to leave his bed that color. Well, I could actually change it to match. No big deal. So that'll be Emilio's new bed. And then downstairs, um, we'll just sell this bed off and we'll have this one be Chadwick's bed. Okay, I think this is gonna work. So we're gonna reset this bed ownership. We're gonna set it to Chadwick. And then if we go upstairs, we're going to reset. We're gonna set this one to Emilio and we're gonna set this bed ownership to Mandy and I'm gonna let them sleep in the same bed just they're not I don't think they're dating per se but they just had a kid together so I just feel like it'll be nice for them to be in the same room yeah they're just romantic interests so I'm gonna let you come up here and you can sleep Mandy does Logan need anything no he just needs to go to bed so I'm gonna go ahead and put Logan in the crib and I'm gonna let you go to bed and that should be everyone so that should be good Everyone should be great. You should actually go to sleep. And same with you, Emilio. Why don't you go ahead and sleep? What's wrong? You can't get to the side of the bed, can you? Ooh, maybe he can. Hold up. Okay.
Oh man, I think he's sleeping on her side. Oh wait, can she get through there though? I mean, she can get there to the crib, so I'm feeling like she should be able to get around to this side. Please say you can. <laughs> That's kind of rude. That's your child. That's rude. Go back to sleep. I think he's getting woken up by the new ghost in the family. <laughs> he's all excited. Okay, so this does work. All right, perfect. When he's a child, it's not going to work, obviously. But this is perfect. So I think everyone is asleep. I keep losing my voice, but I think everyone is asleep. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut out here and I will be back when they're getting up for their day. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay. So it looks like Janelle is up and she's hungry, but I'm going to go ahead and have her take care of the her bathroom needs. Then I want her to take a deep breath. This might scare the crap out of Emilio, so he might actually get up, but I don't know. I don't think, I don't feel like that would wake me up. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but I just don't feel like it would. And then we're going to eat some pancakes. Okay. And then I don't think anyone else is about to get up. Wait, Fred is actually. So I'm going to have him use and take a shower and have his plasma orange juice. And then oh my, I'm so excited that he wants to be friends with Logan. I think that's just adorable. Like he literally instantly got that wish. So that's really cute. And Logan is good. He just needs to fall asleep because he's tired. So hopefully he'll do that soon. I think everyone is going to react to him like that, like ghost reaction, like, oh my gosh, it's a ghost kind of thing. Um, but I think they're all going to do that. So it's going to be interesting. But like I said, once he's a toddler or not a toddler, a child, we won't be able to live here, which it's not going to take him only like a week, I think. It's three days, three, seven. Okay, it's going to be about 10 sim days. So. We don't really have much time. We need to get as much money as we can so that we can move into a new home. And I might actually start looking for a new home. The only thing is this is technically like a three bedroom for us. And we made it a four with the garage. Um, so I don't honestly know how well that's gonna work for us finding like a three to four bedroom. Um, obviously when he's a child, he'll probably sleep in a room with somebody. We could use bunk beds but um, I don't know. I just feel like we need to get a bigger home. I feel like this home is getting too small for our family. So we might do that here in the near future. Um, moving. It might be like the next episode or something. I want it to be technically before Logan becomes a child. But we do have time. So it's not like he's aging up tomorrow. He has three more days before he ages. So we have plenty of time for that. Um, but yeah, I wonder if she can magically clean him while he's sleeping. Is this a thing? Like, or does it wake him up? I'm really actually curious. And I'll have her start magically cleaning herself, too. <laughs> okay, so it looks like... What are you doing? Confessing to being a vampire. What is it? He wants to throw an elixir at her? Of course he would. Of course he would. He's wants to like ruin her life. All right, so you're good for work. I'm gonna have you clean up maybe for me just a little bit and let's get you to also maybe do the laundry. And I want you to do it for the whole lot because I feel like there's laundry everywhere. It's like you can see it here. I just feel like it's gonna be everywhere and I don't really want that. I want the house to stay clean, especially now that we ever have a baby crawling on the floor. Like we don't really want people to be like, you don't want the baby crawling on the floor when the floor is disgustingly filthy. You know what I'm saying? So that is something we'll have to make sure we get done. Chadwick is just eating and then he doesn't have work today. So I think we're going to work on his athletic and handiness skills. And we're going to start here in the kitchen, I think. Just trying to tinker with the sink and seeing how that goes. Why are you scratching our furniture? Is this a joke? Could you not? Um, okay, so I want you to tend to the garden. He's yelling at you. Chadwick is like, stop that right now. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? All right, so eat pancakes. And then we're going to have you tinker. 
And Mandy is set up. And then when she's done with all that, she can come down and eat some pancakes as well. Okay, and he is going to need to use and shower. And then I'm going to let him go back in here. I should let him do it before he came out. But he can go in here and drink some pollen punch. Which actually gives him a really nice, like, moodlet. And looks like Quinn is up. Why? Um, I don't know. But I am going to have him come downstairs and he's going to eat some pancakes. And we're going to... He just broke that shower. Fred, really? What are you doing with the baby? Stealing his candy. Just remember he's evil and I'm sure he'll get you back one day. Of course you would. Of course you would, you freaking jerk. You're such a mean person. I hope you know that. Oh, now you're going to give him a bottle. I stole your candy, but now you can have a bottle. Okay, don't react, because it's kind of... I hate that they have that. Okay, I'm going to let you just use this. Come on down here and eat some pancakes. Oh, it's a busy household. It's a busy, busy household. Unfortunately, he got woken up, but there's nothing I can do about that. He doesn't work today, so we are going to go back to the gym after he's done eating. So I'm actually going to set him up to do that. I actually want him to try to befriend Adrian, but the fact is he actually doesn't know Adrian. Oh, he actually can now. Send him a friendly text and chat with him. Are you not going to eat? I did tell you to eat. What happened? He gave up on it. He was like, screw you. I don't want to eat. Eat some... Oh, serve breakfast, make some waffles. Man, that's obnoxious, but we're going to do our best. Emilio, you're going to praise her. That's really nice of you. But why don't you... You're actually good. I'm just going to let you do whatever you're doing. You are tinkering with the sink. So you keep tinkering. I do want you to go ahead and unclog this when you get a chance. I want you to repair this when you get a chance. And I want you to unclog this when you get a chance. You got lots to do. She needs to go fishing, I do believe. So she's only level two. Ooh, we also need to go consign what we actually have gotten. So we're going to go do that first so it gets sold today. And then we get the credit for that. What is she doing? Oh my gosh. Come over here and buy. And then I'm going to send you out to go fishing. You don't have any other needs. So there is no reason that you can't do this. So then I'm going to send you over here. You can go fish. And you can just fish indefinitely. Because there's nothing else you really need to do. You want to magically clean Antoine. Discover a potion. You have so much you want to do. The baby I think is good. He's tired. And he needs, he's going to need diaper change soon. But that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and invite over Antoine. See if he'll come over. If he won't, we will instead work on discovering a potion, maybe. All right, five hours. Okay, so we'll discover a potion then. He's up to handiness three, so it's pretty good. Benjamin, are you supposed to be at work? Yes, go to work. Gosh, this man. Okay, so let's get rid of these. We'll get rid of this. This one. This and this. And this and this. And we'll consign those. And then shopping. Mm. Nothing is popping out at me, so I think we're good. I'm going to send you to work. I want you to go to work. Okay. You are at work, so you're doing what you need to do. What is he doing? Make bed? Like, why? Why is this what you want to do? I actually think... 
Emilio. Go do something. Get out of my hair. Leave the baby alone for five seconds, please. Listen to bragging. Listen to compliment. No, you are supposed to be going to work. How many times do I have to tell you this? Go to work. Okay, what is he doing? Compliment his appearance? Of course he is. He actually wants to ask him to watch the stars, but we can't right now, so... Oh my gosh, the sim is on fire. Maybe if you didn't stand outside my house all the time, you would have a better chance of living. I'm just gonna let these two do their thing. I'm not I'm not even worried about them. I'm not worried about that lady outside either, to be honest. I guess he is. I'm not really worried about her. And I think it you know what? It's it's what you get for standing outside my house all night long. Okay, so he made it unbreakable. That's fine. Let's just get all these things fixed. And then we can maybe try to finish the self-cleaning of this. Man, everyone is obsessed with that baby. He's going to get no sleep because nobody will leave him alone. I want you to chat with this man. And then, what are you up to? Clean up the plates for me, please. Fred, why don't you go ahead and... There's no dirty laundry on the lot. Is it in your pocket? Like, where did the dirty laundry go? I don't know where it went. No idea. Yes, we can dance at the club for three hours. That is fine. I'm actually going to send him. I'm going to have him. Now that he's fixed that shower and everything, we're going to use the bathroom. We are going to have some plasma juice. And then Fred, because he doesn't work again today is going to head back over and bowl some more because I want to finish that wish. It's so easy. There's no reason it shouldn't be taking this long. Um, so I really would like him to complete that today. And he has played, what, two more? Yeah. So I'm going to tell him to bowl and then bowl, pretty much. So it'll finish both of the, the things. And this works good. The baby is needing some help. So I'm actually going to have Mandy go ahead and stop. I want her to come upstairs and magically clean him. No. Let, you, let his mother take care of him. That's what she's here for. Um, do you work? No. Why don't you chat with her and we'll have you send her a text and then we'll chat with her some more. I'm just, I want to keep your guys' relationships up with people if I haven't been working on it as much. I want to make sure that I am pushing those. Also, I want to get, um, I want to buy a desk or something, a table, something that they could sit at that maybe I could put like a table outside because it is still summer. So there's really honestly no reason they couldn't have a table outside that they could eat and stuff at. So, I'm going to buy an outdoorsy table, and I think there's, like, picnic tables. Um, actually, I don't know if he could use a picnic table, so maybe let's just do, like... What is this? Oh, that's nice. I like that. I didn't even know I had some of these things, which is insane to think about. Like, I didn't even know I had this. Oh, yes, I did. I didn't know I had this, which I really like, actually. But I'm going to put a dining table outside. Um, nothing fancy, really. Let's just make it look like it goes outside as well. So we'll do this. And we'll move it here. And then, what is going on? Um, let's put some chairs out here with it, which. I want dining chairs. 
we're going to do these, I think. And I do want to make this white if I can. Or let's see, let's make it white. Okay, so we'll just do white. There we go. And then let's grab all of these. Okay, and then is there, you know what, I'm just going to leave that, that's fine. It'll give them a place to eat as well so that they don't have to always be in the living room. But it gives me the opportunity to go ahead and send this man a love letter because he does want to do that. I know he's been flirting a lot with Corey, or with Fred, but yeah. So I am going to do that. These two are on the phone. You're working on the stove now. <clears throat> that is fine. Janelle is fishing. Mandy is reading a book. Yeah, no, we're not. You're supposed to be taking care of your son. So why don't you magically clean him? Okay, and now he needs social. So I'm going to have you come up here. And you might as well give him a bottle. And you can... Snuggle him and play with him and snuggle him and then that should be good and then we can get you to put him back and then go to the bathroom and then we'll have you go downstairs and discover a potion. Benjamin is over at work and he's not doing his job like always. This time he's not shaking his booty, he's reading a book. So, I mean, whatever. But yes, please, you really need to work on this. You're at handing it, you're at firefighter level four, but you have zero of these, which is kind of sad. So we need to work a little bit harder, I think, on that. All right, and he's bowling. So he's having some good fun. And hopefully he does well. I'm really hoping he does because, you know, it'd be nice to... See him thrive. Um. Okay, what's this? Send love loader. Okay. Um. She got paid three hundred forty-six. All right. And. Okay, so he's sending out his love letter to um, Ivan Norman. Oh my gosh, he has a opportunity. I heard it. So deal with the disaster. I feel like I miss it because I'm always bouncing between everybody, and I feel like I always miss it, to be honest. But hopefully that's not true. Hopefully I'm not missing all of his opportunities because that would be really sad. All right, Corey, you did that. Now you want to befriend him. Can you invite over Adrian? Where is he? Right here. Can you invite him over, maybe? Benjamin, are you headed over? It's a building disaster, so it's not like he really needs my help. But he does need to do it. Okay, Adrian's coming over. So we are going to have him become friends with him. Does he have a friendship elixir? No, he's a vile of bliss. Which is fine. I will let you um, use and quickly take a shower. Emilio, you don't work today, that's right. So let's get you up here. I'm going to have you use this. And then you can do whatever you want after that. Did you upgrade this? Self-cleaning? Okay. How about replacing Unbreakable with self-cleaning? She's fishing. She's working on that. Benjamin is dealing with the disaster. Is this Adrian? Is this the man of the hour? This is the man of the hour. All right, Adrian. Um, we're going to cast a charm, a good luck charm on you. We are going to be friendly to you and ask about your age. We are going to be friendly, ask about your gender preference. We are going to be friendly and ask your sign. We are going to be friendly, <clears throat> ask about your alma mater, 
We are going to be friendly and ask if you're single. We just want to know everything about you. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. Now, if you asked her out on a date, would she go with you? I'm curious. Um, let's take her to the Moonlight Pub. Um, okay, so she's gonna go out on a date with us. She's kind of cool. Quinn made some monies. He's up to the handiness level 7. I have a lot of people in the house who have handiness skill, which is kind of nice. Please don't backfire this. Oh, good. All right. Oh my god, he's wearing snakeskin pants. <laughs> okay. So his last thing was to ask if he's single. We can celebrity gossip with him. We can chat with him. Complain about Emilio? Why? What did he do? Compliment? Does he not like Emilio? He might not like Emilio. Um, confess his attraction for Fred? I don't know yet. I don't know if I want to do that yet. So discuss work with him. Um, enthused about magic. We can um, express our embarrassment. No get to know him like oh i live in this small little home with two bathrooms all these people somebody's walked in on me naked like maybe let's not say that um all right he's ambitious he's in with the jocks okay and he's single they are now friends so he can do whatever he wants um she made some more money and she's leveled up again. He got a 73. Quinn has a logic skill, supposedly. And he is a Pisces. He is straight, so he's not even into us. So, it's fine. Um, appears I'm 23 days older than you, which is fine. Um, we did send Ivan that love letter. So, we'll be waiting to hear back. Maybe, hopefully, in the next day or so from him about that. And then, we want to watch the stars of Fred. So, wherever Fred is, maybe we should... Um, disband the group and come over here and maybe ask Fred to watch the stars if we can. So, is it late enough? I think it is. Okay, and someone was going out on a date. It was Emilio. I forgot. Sorry, Emilio. Romantic interest, yes. Um, you wanted to have a girl or go on a date with her. That's all you wanted to do. So let's take a romantic photo together and let's kiss her and let's amorous hug and compliment her personality and compliment her appearance. That should be all good. And then we will order food for the group. We'll go ahead and get a pizza. I mean, why not? That'll be nice. Okay, these two are definitely into each other, which is very cute. I have so much going on, it's unreal to keep track of everyone and who's with who and what's going on with this person and that person and every person. <sighs> Become good friends with Roland. Um, oh, speaking of, I actually want you to try and invite over Antoine again. So, invite him over. I want to magically clean this man so I can get rid of this wish. It's so easy to do, it's just it's taking me forever because... He's like being ridiculous. All right, you need to eat, and Antoine is coming over, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and eat some autumn salad. I'll let you go ahead and take a shower. Um, that'll be fine. What is this? Bowl three strikes. Okay, well maybe. I mean, I'm gonna get too far into this. He completed that. Is that Antoine? Is that Antoine? Is that Antoine? Is that Antoine? It is. Okay, so Genie, we are banished Sim. I don't even know what that means. Ensorcel Sim? There are too many Sims in the household to control another one. Oh. I didn't even know you could do that. So we're going to magically clean him. Bam. That's all we had to do. 
Okay, he's like freaking out about the hail, and we just cleaned him. So you want to become good friends with Roland. Rock with a baby in the rocking chair. We're going to become good friends with Roland. Um, let's go ahead and invite over Roland now. I don't care about being in a group with these people. Just want to be able to become friends with them and such. And I'm actually going to break up this group anyways. Because you guys are friends. So I'm going to ask him to leave the group. And I'm going to jump over to Fred. Because I do want them... I do want him to watch the stars with him. So we're going to go here. And then be romantic. And ask him to watch the stars maybe. And he's not done bullying. So I don't want this to knock him out. That's another reason why I said that. Wait. I wanted to span the group because I don't want that group. Have five friends. You only have one. That's kind of sad. Okay, so. Boring. Are you small talked? Oh my gosh. Well, I'm so sorry. Um, bring a serving to Lakeisha. And then why don't you grab a slice as well. And I could probably have some of my family come grab a slice because it's like right around the corner. So is anyone hungry? You are. Watch her. What is she doing? Oh my goodness. Everyone is literally like complimenting everyone's personality and is being flirty. It's too much. Grab a slice. Why don't you come grab a slice and stop fishing? She can come grab a slice. Oh wait, no. She has someone coming over. Never mind. Jokes. You can come grab a slice. Quinn is okay. I want Roland to come over. Oh, there he is. And let's see. Let's be friendly. Oh. Um, let's greet him. And then we will invite him inside. Antoine, I'm sorry, buddy. We only brought you over to clean you, which is kind of weird to say, but too sorry. All right, you got a 94. Okay. And she just wants to become good friends with him. So this should work. And when he gets in here, we'll talk with him. All right, let's go ahead and be friendly. We're going to ask about his age. We are going to ask about his day. We're going to ask about his gender preference. We're going to ask his sign. We are going to... Ask about his alma mater. We can ask if he's single. Not of that it matters. I don't think anyways. Um, celebrity gossip. So we'll just do all those things. Hopefully that'll become friends. Are you two watching the stars? So I do kind of want to see you guys do this. Oh. I don't know. Like he sent a love letter to that guy. Now he's all about Fred. Like I don't know who he's into. I feel like he might kind of be a player. And that kind of scares me. Um, because I feel like if he's such a player, like, oh my gosh, can you imagine all the people that are going to be angry with him and, like, they'll become a problem. So, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. But, I don't know. I think they're cute together, though. I do. I really think they are. So, I'll have to wait and see. Where is Emilio? Oh, okay. He's just drinking. Well, I didn't really want you guys to crash the freaking date, but it looks like that already happened because I think this girl's already left. So, whatever. Um, all right, I'm going to send you home. Okay, and I'm going to send you home. And you're at home, I think. Okay, you guys are just friends, so we need to kind of push a little bit more. Tell a joke. Um, tell a funny story. You can joke about work. You can make a silly face. Hopefully he's got a good sense of humor. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that now. Um, chat with him. Um, maybe admire him a bit. See how that goes. The baby needs some work. So Quinn, why don't you come up here and give him a bottle. Snuggle him. Play with him. And snuggle him again. 
And then if he needs a diaper after that, then we can do so. Why is he embarrassed from walking in on a sim? Well, that does happen, unfortunately. Okay, I'm going to have you come home, eat some of this, use the bathroom, and head to bed. Emilio, you pretty much could just go to sleep. Chadwick. Just, whoops. Just go ahead and go to bed. Janelle. I'm going to have you use. Maybe shower. And I'm going to have you head to bed. Okay, these two are not becoming friends as fast as I was hoping. You know what, Janelle? They're in the bathroom, so maybe just go to bed. Because... I don't really want to have to kick them out for you to be able to go in there. Just think it's going to be a pain. And so let's just go with this. How's the baby's bladder? Um, bad. Real bad. But I'm going to put him in the crib and have you head to bed. Oh my gosh, Fred. What is he doing? Shaka bra. Go cosmic bowling. I mean, we can. That's not that hard. So we'll do that. I'm gonna have you come over here and vampiric slumber, though, because you're about to, like, literal pass out. Mandy. I want you guys to. Um. Enthuse about science. Mm, discuss work. Shaka bra. I don't know how much more he has. We have to go with him. We can give him a high five. Oh, there we go. Ensorcel him. What does that even mean? Life is so much easier when someone else does the dirty work. Bend someone's will to your every whim. I think it said we couldn't ensorcel Sims because we have too many Sims in our household to control another one. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to even do use that. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to knock that out, but until I get something else, I'll keep it in. Um, it's cause I don't know what else I would, I would put, like, I don't want just an empty slot if I don't have to have one. So I'll hold that for now in hopes that maybe something else pops up, but okay. So it looks like everyone is in bed. You want to watch a deer? I mean, it's not really my biggest priority right now. Um... Okay, so I'm just looking at what everyone is up to. It looks like everyone is in bed. She's just talking with him still. Bed, he's in bed. He's going to bed. Um, the baby is about to wake up, though. So, I'm, yep, there we go. Quinn, go ahead and get up. I want you to change his dirty diaper. Give him a bottle again and just snuggle him. Do this. These quickly before he cries and wakes up poor Corey. Okay. And then you can put the bit, put Logan back in the crib and you can go back to sleep. But yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. In the description below is all of my social media links, so definitely check those out. And um, follow me. Let me know what you guys are thinking of this LP because I'm really enjoying it. Oh my goodness. Um, so if you guys are enjoying it, I would really like to know. I want to thank you guys for all of the support that you guys have been showing this LP because I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys in my very next one. Thanks very much for watching.